Hey, let's take a look at how you can preview your website on a separate server. This is useful if you want to uh, preview your website before uh, your domain uh, has propagated. Like if you change your name servers and uh, it hasn't propagated for you but you, s you want to begin uh, working on your website right away. Or if you want to work on your website on a different server than the live one. Uh, so you, you don't want your visitors to see uh, what you're working on uh, before you're ready and then you can change your name servers once uh, you completed the work on the other server. So there's uh, two methods I'm, I'm going to show you. The first method is by changing the host file on your PC. Uh, so the first step to do that is to open Notepad. Uh, it, I'm using Windows Vista. Uh, I assume it's probably uh, the same method or pretty close uh, with Windows 7. And it was the same for, uh, for previous versions too, with the only exceptions that you didn't have to right click on Notepad, you could just open it. But in w Windows Vista, you have to right click on it and then choose Run as Administrator. And then it prompts you to continue. And then um, once you have Notepad open, you go to File, Open, and you go to this location here. Uh, you can just pause the video and uh, either write it down or what I'm going to do on my website. Uh, you should see below this video um, the path that you can just copy and paste right in the address bar right here. So once you're in that location, you um, you select in the drop down here all files so now you can see the files in this folder and you open the host file and it should look something like this uh, it might be a bit different but it should be pretty similar so what you do is you need to uh, add two, f two lines to your uh, existing uh, host file it's important not to touch uh, what whatever is in there already uh, don't delete anything and um, just add below whatever is already there. So what I'm going to do is uh, uh, add some entries here. The first thing you do is you um, enter the IP address of the, the server where you want to preview the website and then next to it you enter the domain name. And again on the next line you, the IP address of the server again and then the domain name uh, with the addition of a triple w dot in front of it and then you save your file. Uh, sometimes it takes a while to uh, to change on your uh, on your computer. Sometimes your computer is still displaying a cache version so sometimes you have to be patient. But if I refresh this page hopefully it will show it on the other server. And there you go. So it's showing the, the website on the other server. And if you want to revert this, you just go to the uh, your host file again, and you delete the two entries that you uh, you just made, and then you save the file again. And then if I refresh this, uh, it should uh, should show it on the other server again, unless it's cached like it is now, so it's still showing on the uh, the. Uh, the other server. So a little trick I like to do is I put uh, if there's no www w dot in front of it I put it or if there is already I remove it. What this does is it forces my machine to uh, go get another version not the cache version it already has. So uh, now it should show the the site on the other server again. Yeah okay. So this is the live server here. Alright, so that's the first method to uh, preview your website. The other method is uh, a little website that I had built by my programmers. It's called Preview a Site. Basically, I built this website because uh, most clients don't want to, uh, to go through the trouble of uh, changing their host file. So it's just easier for them to go to PreviewASite.com and then uh, just enter the domain name here in the first field. and then the IP address here and then you have to read and agree to the uh, terms of use and privacy policy and then you click preview site
and there you go so we can preview the website on the other server the only dra drawback of this method is sometimes some elements might not look exactly the same um, as it does in your regular browser particularly uh, flash elements like videos and banners and stuff like that but it's a lot, uh, definitely a lot quicker for most people to uh, to do it this way alright so I hope you find this useful and that you get some use out of it thank you